Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a watercolor method and I'm gonna show you guys how I got this lavender slash periwinkle color on this wig. You guys, I'm so excited to show you guys. This is my first time. I'm in love with this hair. I'm in love with the color. It's everything. Um, but I do wanna go into just a little bit of details about the wig. So I did get the wig off of Amazon Prime. Um, it, it, it came in a 316 bob, 10 inch. Um, I mean, the color was 316, sorry, 316 blonde. Um, but yeah, so let's get into that. So the items you'll need is a big bowl of water, or you can use a bin. It doesn't matter. I just chose a bowl of water, and I'm going to lay down these small cloth um, rags just so I can lay my hair on top and just in case I make any messes because I'm messy. And I got the Adore and Periwinkle hair dye from my local beauty supply store. I am not too sure the price, but I did get one of each. And um, of course, Jax is interrupting as always. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna mix all that in a bowl. Um, just trying to mix the colors. Just wash my hair, so yeah, you know how it is. I gotta get every little drop out. Um, so I'm mixing all that in a bowl. And then I'm gonna take my wig, this is a 316 bob, and I'm going to dip that in the water. And I'm trying to make sure that I get all the hair, including the roots. You guys can tell I'm like super nervous, so I'm moving super slow <laughs> um, because I had no idea what I was doing or how this was gonna come out. I was so nervous. I didn't want it to be a waste of money, but I just kind of swish it around in there. I'm lifting it and dropping it just to see the color see where I need to drop it out again. Um, as the water gets lighter, I'm noticing that um, I had to put more dye in just because the hair was soaking up the majority of it. So I lay it down to um, view it after I'm done dipping it. And this is what the color came out as. I really like it. Um, there's streaks and things in it, um, but I kind of like that. And I'm going to blow dry this unit and then I'm going to go ahead and straighten this unit after where you guys I really like this hair because it was minimal shedding it's very soft it's very fine it took the heat great it took the dye great and as you guys can see I have that mix of lavender and periwinkle I decided to go in to darken the front roots because it was um, periwinkle and it was too bright for me. I wanted it more lavender. So I did go in and just add lavender dye and I went back and covered up those lighter areas to get it darker in the front. And once I'm done with that, I blow dried the hair again. And this is how it came out. It's a little darker at the top. It was a lot lighter than this. Um, I can handle that lightness, so I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to take the straightener to it. This is the final look of me wearing this unit straight and styled. I love it and I highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.